friends to another edition of Tiffin Cast. My name is Seishu, and today I'm so honored to have David Murray, who's a photographer based now in Atlanta, but is from the New England area. And as a as a fellow New Englander, I got to tell you, I'm I am so jealous of where you are right now because I know it's warmer than where it is right now. Uh, I don't know, I, Seishu, I'm, I'm wearing I'm wearing a sweatshirt. I know. Much, uh, I'm just a little baffled by that. <laughs> I, I always thought of Atlanta as hot Atlanta, you know. So well, anyway, well, look. Uh, you're, you're coming on uh, on this on this little show of mine, uh, thanks to Inspire Photo Retreats because they are uh, a wonderful organization. They're they're going to have a wonderful conference in the, the beginning of February, and I'm looking forward to meeting you there, as I have in the past. Um, in the last couple of years, you know we've you've sort of passed each other uh, in the hallways, but never really sat down to chat. But I've right. always held you in such high regard for the work you've done in the past and. Um, frankly, I think you're one of the leaders in the in the in this industry, this crazy industry of ours. So thanks for joining me. Thank you. I I don't know about being a leader, but I just do. I love what I do. So I, if uh, people uh, seem to get that, then I I'm I'm happy. I'm happy. Absolutely, absolutely. Let's talk a little bit about your background. I know before we started recording, we we spoke about your your background in photojournalism. Uh, mm-hmm. you, you spent a good deal of time telling stories visually and that seems to be sort of the idea behind uh, or the crux behind your your wedding photography as well. It's, sure. it's almost as if you, you, you're compelled to tell stories uh, based on your experiences as a photojournalist. Is that is that a fact or is that... Absolutely, you know? yeah. Can you yeah. talk a little bit more about your approach? Well, I think that, you know, uh, people will, you know, I, I read uh, or hear all the time of the, the photojournalistic approach to uh, weddings. And, you know, I, I just, sometimes I shudder, sometimes I um, um, I just shake my head because, you know, photojournalism, um, I define as having empathy for your for your subject. So as a photojournalist, of course, that was uh, my main, my main goal. My I, how I strive to tell my story is through the eyes of uh, the people that I was photographing. Now, certainly there are there are applications to uh, weddings as well. I mean, I do. It's the I do look at this and I say it's a person's uh, probably one of the best days of their lives, and and I know at the same time that it's, it's a very emotional time. Sometimes it can be a very uh, stressful time. Sure. And I try to look at all of these things and yet tell the story of that day, uh, hopefully with the notion, overall notion that this is a, a great, great uh, reunion of people and, uh, and the families that join them and the friends that join them are all there to wish them well as they are sent off on this journey together as a couple. And uh, that's that's pretty much my approach as I go through the, the day. And of course, you know, what I do in, in wedding uh, photography is, is a hybrid, really, of what I used to do as a photojournalist, which is, of course, as a photojournalist, you wouldn't bother, you would never touch anything or try to rearrange anything. Whereas a, as a wedding photographer, I don't have a problem, you know, if I need to move a chair or whatever, <laughs> that's, that's not an issue for me, so... You know, there are different set of ethics that way. So, indeed. But, but ultimately, I, I'm there to, um, uh, with great compassion and love for the for my clients that I have, and the idea that I want to be able to tell their story, and I, and I shoot from my heart when I'm shooting. The process of photographing a wedding, then, for you, uh, comes from deep within you, I imagine, right? Yeah, it does. Um, what motivates you the most? about telling that story? I know you've talked a little bit about how it's important for your clients, but why is it important for you? Well, I would say that, you know, having shot uh, so many stories as a photojournalist um, and all the probably not nice things that I've seen in my life and had to photograph, I I honestly feel like this is... uh, uh, I've, I'm, it's almost like I feel like I'm trying to search a balance in my life now where I'm trying to find uh, a way to tell stories that have, are happy because mm-hmm. I know that it's all part of the human experience. And um, at the same time, I, I, 
I just love the idea of being able to, and the challenge of being able to uh, create um, art out of chaos. And, oh. uh, and, I, I, and to be subsidized to do that, of course, is just a, a, it's a bonus. So uh, it's something that I've always loved to do uh, is to be able to read the tea leaves, uh, be able to understand uh, what is about to happen and uh, be able to anticipate and be able to know that I have the, the correct uh, lens and the correct aperture and, and all those things. And they all fall together at, the, at that moment when, when the picture happens. And uh, so that's, I love that challenge. And I've always loved that challenge. I think from the time I was a young child, um, I always saw photography as, as this big, uh, wonderful visual uh, thing that I, I just I absolutely loved and wanted to do. You've talked a little bit about how some of the technical aspects are challenging and, and interesting perhaps for you. Uh, mm. Imagine after so many years of working as a photojournalist, most of that is intuitive. Uh, You're right. How, how does the how does it, your intuition help you in telling stories though? What are you looking for when you go to a wedding that says wow, that's going to be a great storytelling image that's going to tie in with the next image. I'm just trying to get a sense of yeah. how you operate when you go to a wedding. Well, I mean, you know, basically, uh, as I set out the day, uh, from the time I meet up with my client, I'm, I'm trying to first communicate with them, connect with them, uh, as we all try to do. And then it's a certain point, um, my day begins in earnest where I'm, I shut my mouth and I, I basically put my camera up and start shooting. Um, and I, you know, all I try, all I'm trying to do, I think is to, um, there is a, there is a goal. My goal, I think if I had to say anything and to quote, uh, a friend of mine, Tyler work and, and what he would say, and, and I, I used to do it without thinking or putting a label to it, but Tyrell actually said that basically he's, he shoots for the next generations, for the, shooting for the people that are not there yet, telling stories that they can pass on to their children and their children's children. Um, so that becomes my goal as I start out the day, is what are the, what are the stories that are going to be important uh, 5, 25, 55 years from now? And it's very interesting to me now at this stage that I realize that the things that I thought were important at age 35 are no, no longer have as much significance. They're not, it's not that they're not important, but there are just thing, other things become more obvious to me. So those are the things I, I kind of focus on when I'm there. Wonderful. Let's turn our attention to uh, Inspire, uh, which is... Uh, as I've mentioned, the, the head of the, uh, the, talk, the interview with you, that it's, it's a conference that takes place every year. And this year it's sure. going to be in Portland, Maine, yes. uh, which is your old stomping ground. Uh, why is it important for you to be at Inspire? What is it that, about Inspire that inspires you, I guess, you know, in, in coming back every year? Well, certainly and foremost, I think it's the people that are obviously a part of it. I mean, whether it's uh, Anna or Carl, Carla or... Um, I mean, gosh, the whole the whole group they're 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 just really they're fun to be with. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, you know, we we we're in a very very high pressure job, and um, and we're, we're and I'm not talking about just uh, the day of, but the, the all the things that happen around us uh, before and after the post work. I mean, this is a, we have a lot of demands put upon us, and. Uh, we need to have support. We need to have a, a group of people that we can depend upon to, um, you know, tell our tales to and to share uh, experiences, both good and bad, so that we don't feel like we're in this alone. And, and I have to say to that point that um, when you have such a group as uh, Inspire, um, how, and all you have to do is go once and, you, and you, you know that no matter who you are, you fit right in. Right. Uh, it's a really, really special group of people, and uh, and uh, certainly I, I, it starts with the people that uh, uh, started the whole thing up and uh, are on the on the staff, the, the the board members there. They're all wonderful people. Excellent. Tell us a little bit about what you're going to be doing at Inspire. Um, I know you'd mentioned something about 
uh, being a mentor or perhaps reviewing portfolios. Tell us a little right. bit more about what you're doing and why it is important to have that experience for those who are coming. Well, I, I think that, you know, as we are all on this path, as I like to think, of uh, learning this craft of photography, um, we all know that we need uh, to have people that can give us uh, aid uh, as we go along and people that we trust. I know that I need it for myself and I have a certain group of people that I go to and I'll and I go to them and I show my work and they tear it apart and, uh, and I cry and I, <laughs> and I lick my wounds and I go on. Uh, and I, that's the way it has to be. Um, we can't develop if we don't have that, if we don't go through that process of uh, birth and rebirth mm -hmm. every time we uh, have our work uh, either displayed for our clients or, or for, for our colleagues. So I like to think that what I've done, uh, certainly because of my experience, not just because of my experience as a photojournalist, but um, because all that means is I've, I've been able to shoot. What I've been able to do in the last 10 years is to, uh, of course, be a part of as well uh, the foundation uh, uh, workshop experience. I'm a staff member there and have been for that long. And uh, myself and Amy, who again is a, a, a as well a, a a regular there. She's been in there almost as long as I have. I think it, and so she might have been there longer. Um, uh, you're referring to Amy Deputy. Amy Deputy, excuse right. me. Yes. Sure, sure. Um, my, my dear friend. Um, and we're both going to approach uh, this as a, an opportunity for students or uh, to, for photographers to bring their portfolios in and uh, we are going to have a, a classroom set up uh, where we'll have projector and screen and we're going to uh, go through uh, all those images where that people will um, be generous enough and, uh, and humble enough to want to uh, put their work in and, and have us take a look at it. Uh, ultimately, the idea is, is that we do this with great respect and, and love for the fact that these people like us were all on the same path of trying to get better as we uh, continue down this road of, uh, of taking pictures. Um, I mean, I, personally, I feel a photographer is no different than a writer. And writers, as we all know, um, they, their craft uh, changes and, they're, and they, their insights create different uh, stories as they grow older because they understand and, and they learn uh, not just about um, life, but their, their, how they use their craft and, and the, the techniques that they use uh, are become more refined. And this is what we're trying to do as well is to help people refine their, their techniques as they, as they continue on, as well as give them insight as to you know, what they might actually be thinking about as they're shooting. Indeed. Uh, it's interesting that a conference isn't, uh, at least Inspire Photo Retreats, it isn't uh, your typical conference in that sense, where you, you go to a, a, you know, a room and, and hear somebody talk and you, you're done. Uh, mm -hmm. It's interesting to hear from you that you and Amy are going to be actually collaborating almost with the photographers who are willing to share their information, their, their images, sure. <laughs> and, and, and have them actually leave feeling like they've learned something that they can put to use right off the bat. Um, yeah, down the road. I, so. it, is, it is wonderful. And it, is it was born out of a, uh, a spontaneous uh, event that Amy and I were part of two years ago at Inspire where we, we sat down with our... Uh, um, our laptops and people came up and they had pictures and they started showing it to us there and and the two of us sat together and it was almost like um, we could finish one of those words we just we we know each other so well and we know what we are looking for and we're we're basically on the same page I awesome think. Uh, for those who are coming to inspire what should they bring are those have those details been all figured out they are right now. We're, okay. uh, we're, we're in the process of okay. trying to work out how the, that will be announced. Uh, okay, great. So I, 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 yeah, I, I just think that for, for the time being, 
I would just say that when that time comes, I don't want anyone to feel uh, that they're not worthy, that uh, they have as much of a right and, uh, and uh, I know they have a yearning to want to be better and we understand that and we want to help them. So I don't want anyone to ever, ever think that uh, they're, they, they are, they're not good enough. Right. Uh, you need to know that they, they need to know that. And uh, I hope that they can understand that we're just here to help. Indeed, indeed. Thank you so much, David. Uh, one Pleasure. of the things I'm looking forward to is uh, drinking that uh, beer with you. Yes, don't I, 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 I owe you one now for sure. No, maybe maybe two. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe who's keeping count? Uh, <laughs> I I will be there in February, and I hope uh, those who are listening in, watching this little interview series. We'll also be inspired to go to Inspire Photo Retreats and be a part of this community, uh, which is what I loved about Inspire the most is that there is a sense of being able to reach out to whoever, whomever uh, among those attend and say, hey, can you, can you listen to me? Can you figure this out with me? And yeah. that sort of give and take, I don't think of there is, there is in any other sort of conference setting, at least. You know, they may be in the workshop setting, but it has... You know, it's funny is, is that it's it's a conference, but it feels more like a workshop almost. It's like intimate in that sense, you know, yeah. and that's what I love about it. So Yeah, it's, the people are quite accessible. Indeed, indeed. Thanks, David. Talk to you My soon. Pleasure, Sashu. Take right. care. Bye. Take care of that. Bye-bye.